Ukrainian storm shadow missile strike Russia's Black Sea Fleet in Crimea. The Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation reported an attack by cruise missiles on the Ord Zonikidze shipyard in temporarily occupied Sevastopol, as a result of which two vessels sustained damage. Besides the shipyard attack, a group of Russian warships was attacked by three maritime drones at high seas, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation claims. At the same time, OSINT analyst Oliver Alexander claims a Kilo-class submarine and Rapucha-class landing ship were seen going up in flames in the shipyard's dry dock. Appears that Ukrainian forces have successfully hit the Sevastopol shipyard dry docks, likely occupied by a Russian Kilo-class sub and Rapucha landing ship, Oliver Alexander said. The researchers are talking about a project 775 large landing ship which was built at the Stoksnia Polnokna shipyard in Poland and a Kilo-class submarine. A prominent Russian military blogger said the attack on the Sevastopol shipyard was carried out by the Ukrainian Air Force, which launched 10 Storm Shadow cruise missiles at the facility. The Storm Shadow, jointly developed by the United Kingdom and France, is a cruise missile with stealth capabilities and is the longest-range weapon in Kyiv's arsenal. The blogger, Rybar, said the missiles were launched from Su-24M aircraft over the Black Sea. Rybar said air defences, including a Pantsir S-1, had brought down seven missiles, but added that, unfortunately, three Storm Shadow missiles reached their target. The landing ship Minsk and the submarine Rostov-on-Don, which were in dry dock, received varying degrees of damage. Lieutenant General Mykhailo Oleschuk, commander of the Ukrainian Air Force, has thanked Ukrainian pilots for explosions in temporarily occupied Sevastopol. Sevastopol has come under repeated attack from Ukrainian missiles. The port city is strategically important for the operation of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, which is headquartered there.